ओके परफेक्ट परफेक्ट ओके सो स्किन लीजन एंड कल्चर इज एसिड फास्ट बेसिलाय ओके यस डिफ्यूज इन्वॉल्वमेंट एंड एक्सटेंस वेरी गुड सो आई थिंक एवरी वन हैज रेड माइक्रो आई एम जस्ट ट्राइंग टू एक्सप्लेन समथिंग बट आई फील एवरी वन इज वेल रेड ओवर यूर वेरी गुड सो दे इज अ सिग्निफिकेंट फेशियल थिकनिंग आईब्रो लॉस एंड सिमेट्रिकल सेंसरी न्यूरोपैथी इन अ ग्लव एंड स्टॉकिंग डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन ओके सो दिस इज टॉकिंग अबाउट यूर लेप्रोमैटस लेप्रोसी एंड द ड्रग ऑफ चॉइस इज डेप्सोन ओके सो देर आर अ फ्यू थिंग्स विच आर लाइक टू एड इन टू दिस इज सो योर रेजिमेंट ओके फॉर ट्यूबर क्लोरइड लेप्रोसी यू गिव डेप्सोन एंड रिफेम्पेन ओके फॉर लेप्रोमैटस लेप्रोसी यू गिव डेप्सोन रिफेम्पेन एंड क्लोफाजमीन ऑल राइट that's all you have to remember you don't need to know this scheduling and all that things that is not really important for your steps okay the main thing is you should know which drug is given and you should know the mechanism of action okay would anyone like to try what is the mechanism of action of clofazomy this is not there in your first it is just additional knowledge which i have annotated in my first it so i thought i can share it with you if anyone wants to try mechanism of action of clofazomine okay, so remember the mechanism of action of, uh yeah someone came out right now yes very good inhibit template function of dna perfect so basically it blocks your dna uh, yes very good bobin uh blocks dna function right it basically blocks your dna proliferation so it kills the bacteria like that okay so next question before i go into discussion so uh which kind of immunity is affected in lepromatis and tuberculoid first tell me for tuberculoid and then tell me for lepromatis lepromatis is obviously okay th2 i believe yeah perfect so basically you have to remember it i'll try to draw a graph i have it over here let me see if i can draw it well sorry for my bad writing and drawing skills this is a very common graph which you will see at most places okay so this is your tuberculosis leprosy this is your lepromatis leprosy okay this is your th1 levels okay and then i'll i can change the color i'll try with this all right this refers to your bacterial load okay so just a second this is your th this graph refers to your th1 this graph refers to your th2 okay and the yellow line refers to your uh, bacterial load okay so now remember now this is your tuberculosis leprosy t for tuberculosis what happens in tuberculosis leprosy is your th1 is present in extensive amount so you will have granulomatous formation okay remember th1 is responsible for granuloma formation so you will have granulomatous formation in tuberculosis leprosy okay and due to the cell mediated immunity it will be a limited exposure like limited spread of the disease all right you will just have hairless skin plaques and all okay because the cell immunity mediated immunity is very strong and the bacterial load is very low like you can see this yellow line telling you the bacterial load is very low okay now coming to lepromatous leprosy like it has been described in this question and like someone over here yeah arjun mentioned over here rightly that there is an extensive spread like skin lesions are there eyebrow loss symmetric neuropathy glove and stocking involvement is there why because there is an extensive bacterial load your th1 has fallen down severely your th2 is present but it is pretty useless and your bacterial load is very high so nothing can be done so you have an extensive spread okay and the tuberculosis leprosy drugs are dapsone and rifampicin okay and lepromatous leprosy you have dapsone rifampicin and add one more clofazomy all right i have tried to explain in short what leprosy is so i guess okay so this is basically your leprosy which has been covered i'll see if anything i have missed out okay lepromin skin test is positive in which tuberculosis or lepromatous last question for you vp yes okay 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 very good tuberculosis why because lepromin test is also based on your th1 okay like your tuberculin test lepromin test is also based on your th1 so it is responsible for your cell mediated immunity 
okay the same thing is mentioned over here these are some extra points which i don't think are that important for you all right you basically have to remember like i mentioned over here tuberculoid leprosy granuloma formation increase cd4 increase cd4 means so it will be more activated macrophages and little humoral immunity all right so coming to the same lepromatous leprosy you have decreased cd4 so macrophages are not activated you just have homi macrophages multiple bacilli that means like i mentioned high bacterial load and high levels of antibody okay thanks for watching please give a thumbs up and subscribe for more